Hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome here. Thank you very much for all of your kindness, all of your love, your support, your wonderful comments and your generous donations. I'm very, very grateful to all of you. Thank you. Um, so today we have a love reading and it's about what does your person want with you, from you or from your relationship. So let's see. I've got three puzzle of cards for you to choose from. I will answer the picture in a second. As always, take your time, listen to intuition. You can say the name of your person out loud or in your mind to connect to them better. And then choose a pile that attracts you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello my beautiful pile number one or everyone who chose uh, an acorn. Let's see what does your person want with you. We are opening the reading with the Wheel of Fortune. Malady. Ten of Pentacles. Young Woman. Nine of Wands and Journey. Mm -hmm. Part one. I feel like for this person, you were some sort of breakthrough. Um, how do I explain it better? So they had some sort of routine in their life. Uh, the same old, um, nothing was changing much. Uh, they were feeling low on energy, maybe not excited about life, maybe they were feeling even like depressed a little bit and life felt black and white for them. Then you came around and with this Wheel of Fortune it's almost like you are someone who showed them that, that life can be better, much more exciting, much more rich, much more colorful and um, abundant. There is this feeling of abundance and richness and travels as well for some reason and different cultures philosophies religions with this wheel of fortune and the ten, ten of pentacles it's almost like you took this person out of the um rat out of the state of being stuck that they were in for so long almost like they didn't have enough energy for anything they didn't want to date probably they didn't want to see new people they were not very excited about life and then you come along and you are just this breath of fresh air with this feel of fortune. Almost like things started to speed up in their life and they became more um, active, more alive, more happy. And um, yeah, and it's almost, to me, it feels like you were a gift for them. You felt like a, a gift from the divine, from the destiny that was given to them at their lowest point or just at the point where they they lost of their, all of their hope for the future, especially their love life. And uh, yeah, they wanted to explore, to find out more about you, to experience as many things as they can with you. And movement, there is a lot of movement here. I feel like many of you are quite active with this person, especially if you are physically together, if you interacted, I feel like you maybe, some of you maybe did sports or like hiking or maybe traveled to different cities like uh, on little trips or maybe traveled to other countries even with this Wheel of Fortune and then we've got this journey. I apologize for the sound, that's my puppy. Uh, yeah, what do they want with you now? All of it, all of it, pile one. They admire you so much, they find you so, so beautiful. With this Ten of Pentacles and young woman, it's almost like they see that you've got a lot of potential. They could even possibly build a family with you, something very traditional, something very stable, like a dynasty, an empire for sure, a very powerful card. And it's right in the middle of the spread, this Ten of Pentacles. They definitely think about um, building a future with you, long-term potential for sure. And a very abundant future. It's not like, we'll see how it goes. With this person, it's more so like all of those traditional values. Um, making sure that everybody is happy, taken care of, uh, elderly, children. 
pets. I feel like this is quite a traditional person, even if they don't say so themselves. Just a second, she's been very... She needs attention. She's going to come down in a second. She just needed kisses. Yes, and I feel like for this person it's almost as though they admire you so much. They love your presence in their life. You inspire them for the future, for the better future, for building this empire, building this family with this Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful energy. They want you to be a part of it. But looking at the future, we've got this Nine of Wands and Journey. There are many fears in this person, many fears, they're quite self-protective at the moment, very self-conscious and um, suspicious, it's almost like, it's been a long journey, I feel like for the two of you, you both have been through a lot, maybe it was a very cyclical connection, like you were going in cycles, breaking up, getting back together, then breaking up again, so now this person is not almost like the future doesn't seem too bright for them with this Nine of Wands. Um, they are a little bit on defense, ready to protect themselves, ready to put strong boundaries in case maybe you have an argument or a disagreement of some sort. Yeah, it's, it's, it feels like they have been wounded. And I feel like so, so are you. But it's just, they have big dreams. They want you in their life. But they're worried. That's what I'm going to say for now. We will clarify with the oracle cards, but I do see a lot of worry in them. Like they have grown... Almost like they have been beaten up by this story, by their love life. They don't feel as young and cheerful and happy as they used to be before. Yeah, self, self-protection. That's what I'm feeling here very strongly. But yeah, let's look at your oracle cards. Hmm. There is a lot of mental conflict in this person about you, a lot of confusion. It's almost like, as I was saying, you have, you had a story with them. It, it's been a journey for the two of you. Uh, I don't feel like it's a fresh relationship at all. I'm so sorry, pile one, my puppy. I feel like I have a child now, so. My life is a tiny bit more difficult, but a whole lot more happier <laughs> with her. So anyway, I was saying that if, um, first of all, I feel like this connection has been a long one. You have had a journey together and if it has been rocky, if it has been bumpy, maybe you broke up or you are not in a communication at the moment. This is not the end for this person. They feel like the story is not finished. They're not done. They want more. They want communication. They want honesty. Um, it's just the fact that they're denying themselves this connection because then we've got this card denial. It's almost like it's a very seductive. There is a very seductive quality to this bond for this person. And uh, for some reason, I feel like they're afraid of being hurt. That's why they're not letting themselves hold on to it or pursue it if they're not pursuing it or go fully in it. With this Nine of Wands, I'm, I'm sensing fears. There are many fears here about this connection. It's almost like, is this pain going to repeat? Is this going to happen again? Am I going to be whatever it is, abandoned, hurt, um, rejected, criticized? I'm also seeing that this person wants honest communication uh, between you and them. I feel like they have a lot to say to you. Since we've got this Ten of Pentacles in the middle of your spread, you mean the world to this person. You, you are their treasure for sure, with this young woman and Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful combination. They truly value you, but it's just trust. For some reason it's quite thin here. That's why I feel like honesty is what they desire a lot here from you and as well they want to express themselves as well very clearly and honestly to make sure nothing is not nothing is unsaid and uh, nothing is lingering behind the scenes. 
We also got the Skite community, and it's a very similar energy to the Three of Cups in traditional tarot. I feel like you make this person really happy. They love to be in your presence. Uh, there is this feeling of laughter, of joy, of smiling very wide, of um, maybe you have like your inside jokes or very similar sense of humor. It's almost like when they're around you, it feels like a celebration. It feels like life is so vibrant and rich and happy and uh, very romantic energy is coming through from the sky too. Um, things like going on dates, maybe to restaurants or to parks, uh, maybe on picnics. Yeah, I'm also feeling that this person is very proud of you, especially when you are in public around other people. It's almost like they have this pride that they are with you. They feel more better about themselves almost when, when you are by their, at their arm. <laughs> But there is still this mental conflict and confusion with this Nine of Wands and we also got this kind of mental conflict. Very similar to the Two of Swords as well. What do I do? How do I fix this? Where is this connection headed? I feel like these are the questions that this person has at the moment. Very confused. Probably about your side of things, how you feel about them, what it is that you want about them. Because I feel like their desires are quite solid, quite solid with the Ten of Pentacles in the middle of the spread. Uh, for this pile, I would never say that this person wants to play around and escape. This is not their desire at all. With this Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Pentacles, they truly see your value and they see that it's not very likely that they will encounter someone like you in their life again. They don't want to miss out on you, but they're very, very scared to, to, to open up, to be vulnerable again. I feel like um, th there is fear, fear of being vulnerable with you. And then we've got this beautiful card, this could be the one. And it says, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. You see guys, especially with this Ten of Pentacles, I see a strong family energy, like a marriage, commitment, stability, and that's what this person wants with you. They think that you are the one for them. You tick all of the boxes. You, um, they admire you so much, like you are perfection for them. All of your qualities, the way you express yourself, the way you dress for some of you, the way you look, the way you speak. Yeah, definitely feeling like this must be the one. And that's why there is this mental conflict. If things are not working out, they feel like you're meant to be in their life, but at the same time, all of the difficulties and bumps, and they get worried and confused. So yeah, let's get some messages from them. What would they want you to know right now? Pile one. Oh, I also want to look at the back of your deck to see the background story to this connection. And we've got the Seven of Wands, again that feeling of standing their ground, protecting their views, their beliefs, their attitudes. It could be that maybe you don't match or you're not on the same page about something. So then arguments come up and you might have criticized them um, during your relationship or maybe gave them advice or something that they took really personally and they didn't enjoy it. It's almost like they want to defend themselves. This is the energy I'm getting. Like a very stubborn teenager <laughs> who's not happy with their mom telling them to clean their room or something like that. With this nine of wands, the seven of wands, it's almost like I know, I know what I'm doing. Stop telling me what I have to do. That's the feeling I'm getting from them. I know who I am. Stop criticizing me. It's like very defensive, very defensive. So, what do they want you to know right now, Pile 1? Messages from your person. Mm -hmm. First of all, we've got this message, so many things remind me of you. Yeah, this person is thinking about you, definitely. They miss you, especially if you're not in a very 
constant regular communication if you're not together physically especially <laughs> look at that we will be together again i don't feel like they're going to let you go with this this could be the one card they're still very hopeful about this connection you don't know how hard it was to let you go let's get a few more what does your person want you to know about one? I will do anything to bring you happiness. <laughs> and I'm seeing that image in their head of what will bring you happiness with the Ten of Pentacles. That's what they want with you. You are ten you are there 10 out of 10 and that's the kind of quality of life they want you to have with them family commitment abundance uh, tradition stability i know that the fire that burns in you is the same that burns in me mm -hmm. there's also a lot of passion here that they they are feeling for you I have tried telling you the truth so many times, but I just cannot for some reason. I feel like it's the truth about their feelings and their plans and their intentions in regards to you because they are so, so afraid with this nine of wands, with this denial. It's almost like uh, they're, really, they're, using, they're spending much more energy on protecting themselves, going into their shell rather than opening up and uh, connecting with you. That's what I'm feeling here. Because they're afraid of being hurt again. And it's almost like they cannot express themselves fully because of this with you. Let's get some more messages. What do they want you to know right now? Uh, one messages from your person. We've got this card, I have a lot of things on my mind. Yeah, that's worry. Worry, confusion, that mental conflict. Um, how do I resolve the situation? How do I fix it? That's what I'm feeling here. Many heavy thoughts. A lot of anxious thinking with this Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, I really do like you. I feel like even more than that, they have deep feelings for you. But it's almost like an apology for the fact that things are not going too well. They want to make sure that you know that their feelings never change, they are still the same, they still love you, you're still very important to them, they see the future with you. Oh my gosh, please forgive me. Yeah. It feels like a very, um, a very humble person to me. Even if they have been cocky or ignorant with you in the past, Within them, their essence, they feel very humble and almost like too self-conscious, too timid or... It's like they keep apologizing their energy with this Nine of Wands and this Ten of Pentacles and malady and honesty. They want to express a lot, but maybe they feel like you won't be receptive anymore or you won't listen or you won't understand their side of things. So this is all I have for you, Pile 1. I hope this reading was helpful, gave you some insights, answered some of your questions. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful Pile number 2, or everyone who chose the Carnelian Stone. Let's see what does your person want with you. We are opening the reading with the moon. Servant. Queen of Wands. Hope. Page of Cups. And Service. I'm getting... Oh my gosh. 
this person feels like someone very very shy to me for some reason someone so timid and so sensitive and dreamy poetic artistic it's almost like especially if it's a man i would just feel like uh, i don't know not uncomfortable but strange about them almost like are you out of this world how did you uh, what happened in your life because they are so soft their nature is so soft they are very empathetic very compassionate and it's almost like uh, how do i even explain it they're very much connected to their heart to their emotions rather than to their ego and their pride and their uh, like all about success and material grounded things i feel like they are more the soul of a child almost just someone who wants to serve people to love people um to make people feel understood comfortable but let's start from the beginning um what did this person want in you in the past what do we have here there are many fears here in this person it's almost like mm, i would never call them a confident person to be honest i feel like they are on a more shyer side on a more introverted side they're very self-conscious very sensitive um almost like ridden with fears with anxiety and just like fears of the future but all they knew is that they wanted to be with you they wanted to make you feel comfortable to understand you to connect to you on emotional level um almost like subconscious mm, merge <laughs> merging of two people like um they're very deep like they know psychology of people and with you they felt like they wanted to do little things for you to make you happy to maybe even cook for you or make tea for you or make you cuddle you or i don't know warm you up somehow if you're cold outside like breathe in your hands just little gestures of kindness and sensitivity that's what i'm feeling from this person even though within them they feel very unstable within them they feel very uh, shaky and it's almost like they don't have enough even ego like their ego is so non-existent even though it exists in everybody with them it's almost like they can sacrifice their need for for the other person easily especially if they feel, have feelings for that other person for them th that gives them pleasure to um, take care of some it, almost even motherly nature i'm getting from them if, if even if it's a man just this um natural ability to take care of another person to hold space for them to listen to their um pain to listen to their happiness to uh, wipe their tears to be their shoulder to cry on that's who they are it's uh, i don't see any judgment from them if you ever felt like this person was judging you or was criticizing you it was all in your head <laughs> pile too i feel like they just they couldn't judge you it just doesn't i don't feel like they admire you so much you're definitely on a pedestal for this person it's almost like just a, a thought of being with you being in your energy the queen of wands here makes them feel happy the fact that you you give them your attention the fact that you share your warmth with them the fact that someone like you looked at them noticed them i they, they put themselves down it's almost like they're so hard on themselves with this hope and this queen of wands it just feels like regardless of whether you were together or not they're constantly pining for you and feeling like you are out of their league or maybe you are just someone who would never be with them eventually you would always leave and it's a huge hope for them if you um chose them basically they see you as someone so independent so powerful so magnetic so attractive so successful you know what you want and you're going after it you are you are creative of your life you yeah there is abundance you're a very abundant person very warm and a lot of self-sufficiency like you're very independent again 
on emotional level, maybe even financially. And for them, it's, it's a huge hope. I feel like they have been hoping for so long um, that you will <laughs> almost like the smallest things, the smallest uh, ways of appreciation from you towards them feel huge to this person. They feel like they are on the cloud nine. How could this person is talking to me? They like me. Uh, we are in a relationship. For this person, I feel like it's a, it's a dream come true. Because, and the sad part here is because they are so hard on themselves. They don't see their worth. I feel like they've been struggling with their confidence, especially early in their life. Such a humble person, I almost want to cry because they're so, almost like a child who just wants, uh, for example, their parent to love them, to show them affection, to hug them. And I feel like they would do all of that first, to make sure that, um, like, to act first. How do I even explain it almost? Um, they are very generous soul, that's what I'm trying to say. Very generous soul. Future energies, <laughs> all the same. It's almost like they just want you to know how, um, how much they value you, how much they love you, how deep their feelings for you with this page of cups and service. It's like, whatever you need, I'm going to do it for you. Do you need help? Do you need support? Do you need me to big you up? Um, do you need some compliments? It's almost as though they just want to serve you emotionally, to stretch out their heart on their hands, stretch it to you, give it to you. A lot of kindness is, is here, a lot of tenderness, softness, gentle energy. Whether in pile one it was more about stability, building together, groundedness. Here this person is much more in their emotions and they're very soft and Maybe they're not giving you as much stability or practical things, but in regards to emotions and in regards to just wanting to do something for you to make you feel better, especially like emotional labor, basically, like holding space for you, talking to you, hugging you, um, bringing you that comfort and feeling of safety, even though they themselves are far too, are too far from having, from feeling that security and safety within them. It's almost like compensation for the way they feel. They don't want another person to feel like that. Because they know how painful it is, how uncomfortable it is. Whatever they're feeling, confusion, anxiety, worry, feeling lost in the dark with this moon, very self-conscious. And I feel like that's why they love your confidence. Maybe you're much, much more social person then they are, you get along with people better, you make friends much faster, and they're not like that. It's almost like opposites that get attracted. They're more introverted and you're much more expressive, at least in their eyes. But yes, to sum up, what do they want with you? They want um, romantic um, gestures they want to give you romantic gestures to support you to do things for you to compliment you um, to admire you and they're very much hoping that you would reciprocate everything that they're stretching towards you with this uh, queen of wands and this hope they're very hopeful about this connection almost like trying to manifest you <laughs> this person is trying to manifest you in their life Let's look at your oracle card spell too. Oh my gosh. Mm. First of all, we've got this card, make the effort. <laughs> and it's almost as though it's the best uh, expression, the image and the best expression of the energy I was feeling from this person. It says, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And we are seeing this little kid, this boy kissing a girl exactly how I was seeing them, like a child, um, unapologetically, very honestly, and from a pure heart, heart expressing what it is that they're feeling. I do feel like they want to put effort in this connection, especially if you distance yourself or you are not as receptive. They want to be with you. I feel like they're feeling 
very spiritually connected to you with this kind of fragment. For me, it's always like this energy of your soul being drawn to somewhere else, to someone else who is not with you. Like, you don't feel complete unless they are with you. Like, their soul is yearning for you. And the moon gives me the same feeling, like, they're, especially at night, they might feel very, very restless, very, like, missing you so much, homesick for you. Like looking at the stars, at the sky, and remembering your face, your eyes, your smile. Mm. Very romantic person. Everything I say, I just want to be romantic for this pile. I feel like I'm channeling the energy a little bit. And then we've got this card thinker. I do see that this person thinks about you a lot, about your connection, and it's almost like they're torn at the moment. What do I do now? Because there is a lot of anxiety in them, but at the same time they are determined to put effort in this. And th there are many philosophical thoughts, many questions that pop up in their head about you, about them. I feel like they are thinking about you constantly, 24-7. And then we've got this card moving on. Again, that feeling of being torn, I was um, getting, looking at this card moving on and this card strategy. I feel like one day this person is feeling that um, this is not going anywhere, maybe I should give up, maybe I should distract myself, maybe I should uh, try to move on um, to, to get into some sort of balance and peace within me, let go of the story, maybe it's something, there is something better. And then the next moment, Pichinka is awake, she was sleeping in my lap. <coughs> And then the ne next moment, this person decides to, no, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going <coughs> to put effort into this. I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. And uh, it's almost like they're trying to come up with steps, with a um, tangible plan to get you back or just to get you. Yeah, I, I <laughs> this person's energy is just so precious like looking at the skies and it feels like someone very soft, very empathetic. I want to get, I want to look at the bottom of your deck to see the background story for you guys. And you've got six of wands. Confidence, it feels like confidence is a big issue here. For you, for them, like this whole connection is, it feels like, like a huge lesson in regards to building up your confidence, to knowing your worth. Maybe this person recognizes that they need to level up somehow, to become more successful, to reach your level, um, to work on, on themselves. But they, I feel like they really want this relationship to be successful, to work out. I want to get some messages from your person, but I don't have a hand here. I'll try to put her down so she doesn't wake up again. Okay, okay. Let's get some messages from your person, pile two. What do they want you to know right now? What do they want you to know the most right now, your person? And the first message we have here is, I want you. So there is definitely passion here. This person is very, very attracted to you, especially with this Queen of Wands, very drawn to you. Everything you are, the way you express yourself, I feel like even your voice, your laughter, it's like a huge, huge turn on for them. Mm, look at this, we've got this card, we need to let each other go. I feel like that's their doubts talking, and with this card moving on, maybe you both tried. Maybe you both tried. It's almost like their logic is saying that they should let go the grip on this connection on you, but at the same time they want to put effort into this. They want to... You are their wish fulfillment, that's what I'm feeling here with this Queen of Wands. Mm. It was my fault, but I blamed you. You know what I'm feeling with this? They acknowledge that they are insecurities, their self-esteem issues have affected this connection. But it's 
almost as though they're not um, it's too difficult for them to to say it to you to be vulnerable with you they're too afraid almost like they want to be more like you what else do they want you to know pile two messages from your person what do they want you to know right now Even more passion here. So the card that flew out was I feel you so strongly I can taste your essence. Then we've got this card. <laughs> you are my dream come true. I am shocked at your existence. Definitely wish fulfillment. That's what you are for them. Don't think I don't care because, um, don't think I don't care about you because I really do. And they really do, for sure, 100%. With the servant, page of cups, the moon, they think about you a lot. It's almost like they're brainstorming constantly what it is that they can do for you. How can they approach you? What are the right words that they can say um, to make you feel better? What else do they want you to know about two messages from your person? We've got this message. I want to tell you my feelings, but I can't right now. Hmm. And with this Queen of Wands in the middle of the region, I feel like they're looking up to you at the moment, whether you will express yourself or not. Like they are um, checking in with you, with how you feel about them, with almost like your <laughs> temperature about this whole connection. Are you getting warmer or not? That's what I'm feeling here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see you. Yeah, absolutely. I want to start over with you, especially for those who uh, this connection has ended in the past and it feels like they want a new beginning for sure. They want to put effort into this. Oh, thank you very much, pile number two. I think this is everything I have for you. I hope this reading was helpful, has given you answers that you were looking for. And I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful pile number three or everyone who chose the Aventurian stone. Let's see what does your person want with you. We are opening your reading with temperance, house, seven of cups, room, King of Pentacles and Letter. <laughs> Pile 3. I feel like this person is all about stability. This person is all about being grounded, um, almost like comfort zone, security changes it's almost like they're not good with changes they're not good with radical shifts and movements in their life um, they they love peace <laughs> they love um, when things are moderate when everything is um, calm almost and especially in the past if you were waiting for this person to make some sort of changes for you or for this connection i feel like they were taking their time this is someone who would definitely take that time. Then as soon as they decide to make a decision, they get confused and they don't know how to make that decision. They cannot choose. And then they go back to taking their time again. And I feel like this connection was stretching for some time now. Even if you reached some sort of stable connection with them, um, some sort of stable level of being in a relationship, it's still almost like 
same old, everything is the same, it's not changing, it's not progressing as much as you would want it to. What this person wanted, really, is not to rush, is not, uh, not being kicked, like when, if you were kicking them to speed up, to finally make a decision, to uh, approach you in any way, to develop this connection further. It's almost like, I want to hold on to my safety, I want to hold on to my comfort zone, to my stability. Maybe this person is, there is something about home, something about family, home, like fourth, fourth house energy, like Cancerian. Um, everything that is very stable, unshakable, like their roots. Um, I feel like it's not easy for this person to put themselves out there, to be uh, passionate, uh, to make, to lead. It's almost like they cannot lead this person. And what they wanted for you is just to be patient with them because they needed to take their sweet time. <laughs> and I don't want to judge them too much because I do see changes coming in the future. But it's almost like this person is a little bit too timid or confused and it's hard for them to be, especially if it's a man, they are struggling with being an alpha man or like making a decision, uh, putting this, uh, this connection forward, making things happen. It's almost like they are wondering, well, what if I do this? What will happen? Maybe I shouldn't. Uh, what are my options? I don't like to come out of my comfort zone. I don't like to change things the way they are. I'm quite comfortable right now. I want to, think, to keep things um, stagnant. It's almost as though it's even their char character, their personality. It might be very difficult to take this person, like to shake them up, to wake them up, to make them angry, for example, or too happy, like ecstatic, or too excited about something. They're very mellow. Like, um, very, very calm, very chilled person. That's what I'm feeling. And almost like scared. Especially at the moment. I feel like in the past they were taking their sweet time, not knowing what do they want with you. I feel like they, what it is that they wanted is for you to be patient with them, for you to be understanding with them, and for there to be peace between the two of you. Now, with the Seven of Cups, it's almost like this person is even more confused and scared of making the wrong choice at the moment. It's as though if they come out of their comfort zone to change their life somehow for you, they will lose out on something. They will make a horrible, uh, irreversible mistake and, and that's that. Their life is over almost. Again, this indecision, I'm getting strong energy of indecision in them in regards to you. They don't even know what it is that they want themselves. But still, they're holding on to you. It's almost like they're simultaneously holding on to you. They want you to be there for them. They want you to be the sense of, I don't know, it's just com it's comforting for them to know that you are in their life, that you are somehow still involved with them. But the, simultaneously, at the same time, they want to hold on to their stability, to what their life used to be like um, for many years so far. I can see how it can be very disappointing and frustrating to deal with someone like that. <coughs> but the future energies, what does this person want with you? I feel like they're becoming much more solid which is interesting, which is quite reassuring with this King of Pentacles and letter. There is something about taking on responsibility. There is something about creating, um, almost like being someone that you could depend on, depend on uh, someone you could trust, someone you could rely on, maybe financially, maybe just creating a safe home environment for you or reaching some sort of stability and success in their material life and then uh, somehow, how do I explain it? And I feel like that will improve your situation in turn. 
it's almost like this person needed some maturity in, in the past. And money and um, home situation, living situation, finances, I feel like these are big things that are affecting them, their behavior, this connection, this relationship. I do see that there is communication coming in the future for sure. And I do see that this person um, is going to express some sort of generosity towards you or maybe like show you that they, they are there for you, that they want a future with you because the King of Pentacles is a very loyal, very stable um, persona, <laughs> energy. And I like that they're level, leveling up to that. But let's look at your Oracle cards. Let's see what we've got here. Hmm. Pile three. I feel like this person is very, very torn. Very, very torn within, within them. It's almost like they're not... Their thoughts, desires and wishes for you are not wholesome. They're not... Uh, on the same track, like they've been pulled in all different directions, not even two, maybe like five or seven. Uh, one moment, they want to work on this, they want to focus on this connection, they want to express themselves to you, and the next moment they feel like they need to pull back and focus on their everyday life, on their routines, on their work, practical things. Then the next day they feel like you are attacking them, so they feel like they need to protect themselves, like put really rigid walls and defense, almost like become becoming hostile with you. And I feel like maybe you get frustrated with them at times and you just burst out with all of the not nicest words or difficult emotions that are building up in you because of their behavior, and then they are forced to Defend, defend themselves, become like self-protective and maybe even like angry or hostile towards you. There is this feeling of destruction and then coming back together. Destruction and then coming back together. And we've got this card, disruption, very similar to the Tower energy in traditional Tara. It's almost like this person is trying to keep to keep this relationship together to keep this bond, this connection, but the, their behavior is doing only one thing, is destroying it because of inconsistency, because of not, if you're not moving forward, you're mov moving backwards. I feel like that's something your person is completely oblivious towards. They, they don't know this phrase, at least probably they don't resonate with it at all. And that's something you know very well, Pile 3. I do feel like it could be a separation situation here because we've got this card. Oh, yeah, we've got this card separation. Like you're not together. And it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. I feel like it's already happening. Maybe they have distanced themselves from you or maybe you are far away from each other. Your communication is not as um, constant as you want it to be. But at the same time, you've got this card, happy family. I feel like that's what this per person would want to have eventually here. Even throughout all of the immaturity, all of the indecision that they are expressing at the moment, we've got this king of pentacles as the future energy and letter. I feel like they, did, they are coming slowly but surely to this state of being dependable, being responsible, showing up for you. Um, giving you that stable ground to build on because ultimately they would want a happy family with you they would want a commitment with you it's just uh, there is so much confusion within them they're so foggy and they are so afraid to make their own decision quite a difficult person to deal with I, I would imagine uh, I wanted to look at the back of your deck to see the background story for you guys. Yeah, we've got three of swords, so much pain. It's exactly how I was feeling, your energy, that's where you are. All of this indecision, all of this kind of wishy-washy energy, trying to keep peace, not being able to say their final word or to choose. Are they with you? Are they not with you? Where are we going? What is the future here? I feel like it's so frustrating for you. Like it really deeply hurts you. 
in the past. Like how this woman is screaming, it's almost like this desperation and being so exhausted of this dynamic that they're bringing to the table. What? Yeah. I want to get messages from this person. What do they want you to know, pile three, right now? What does this person want you to know? The first message is, I replay our conversations over and over. Mm -hmm. Like with the Seven of Cups. Being so confused, like imagining different scenarios within their head, trying to see how would this go if I did that? How would things go if I did this? And eventually not doing anything at all. I feel you leaving me behind. Just being near you is intoxicating. It's almost like this person is too afraid of intense emotions, of being lost in someone, of being too much in love and losing their autonomy, losing their peace, their stability or whatever it is that they're so holding so strongly on. Maybe it's a living situation. Maybe it's some sort of routine that they're um, involved in. I'm just feeling like this person is not up to taking risks. And that's frustrating to you because you did it. You can do it for them. What else do they want you to know, Pile 3? Messages from your person. And we've got this card. I'm burning with passion for you. Look at that. Am I good enough for you? Again, that feeling of uh, almost like they're very afraid to make, a, to make a mistake and be the one who, like who you blame eventually. Like, like they're very afraid to take on responsibility and that's why they don't do anything. Very timid person, very skittish almost, very frightened. Don't think I don't care about you, because I really do. I feel like uh, their behavior almost makes you feel that they, that they have no feelings, they're not even concerned about you or the future of this connection. And their message here is that they think about you. You mean a lot to them. What else do they want you to know, Pile 3? Messages from your person. At that we've got this card I wear my mask so tight that you wouldn't believe what I'm really feeling inside absolutely that's what I was feeling with them being so calm so almost like nothing can face them nothing can touch them too much and uh, everything is fine as it is I'm good with what I've got <sighs> yeah almost like you're screaming for something more from them you are asking for some something wholesome something deep something to work with, but it's not coming. I have self-esteem issues, sorry if that interferes with my actions. Exactly what I was feeling, they're not feeling conf confident, they're not feeling like they can change their life, they can give you anything probably at the moment. They might be breadcrumbing you as well, pile three, like giving you little bits of attention and just uh, affection here and there but not giving any, anything substantial. All about this, all because of their um, self-esteem, very low self-esteem. And then we've got this card. <laughs> My gosh, I'm not strong enough to tell you no, but you should discover other possibilities. I feel like eventually this person would, would like to end up with you, um, would like to be the one you could be. Um, happy with, to build a family with you, with this King of Pentacles, 
But it's almost like they're out of... They can't offer you much at the moment. And they acknowledge it themselves. They realize that. And I feel like that's why they don't make any extra steps or just they don't go come out of the line or step out of the line, out of their comfort zone to make this work, to grow this connection. I want to look at the bottom of this deck. Hmm. If you let me go, then you will create space for me to come back in my own time. I do think they will. I do think they will with this King of Pentacles. They're planning on coming back only when they are feeling better about themselves. Maybe when they have more, like money, opportunities, maybe their living situation is improved, maybe they, their confidence is better, when they have something to offer you. For now, it's like they're... They're, they're very Im immobilized. <laughs> That's the word that comes through when I think about, when I connect to this person, very immobilized in their love life or in their life in general. So this is all I have for you, Pile 3. I hope this reading was helpful to you, give you the answers you were looking for. I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.